Welcome to another episode of Metalworking. I'm Danny Burnett. And I'm Landon Eisenhower. So today we're gonna to talk about rail working. So for us, we travel a whole lot for work. And one of the big questions we get is what's a better way to clean up some of these welds that are on the rail and how do you strip the paint on those? So for this right here, we actually have this really not nice looking rail. And so today we're gonna to clean these up. We're using a carbide burr to do that. And after we get that carbide burr in there and clean up all these welds, we're gonna strip all this paint off of it. If it does get painted again, it'll look a lot more professional than this does. So first we're going with the carbide burr. Landon, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so this is an SC shaped burr, um, just a cylindrical end shape. We did go with it on the, the smaller end a little bit, just so it kind of fits in these corner welds um, and doesn't dig into the workpiece on the sides here. Um, and also it is a double cut, meaning it has more flutes and it's gonna last the longest and it's gonna leave the best finish by far. So once we do remove these corner welds, there's not gonna be a lot of work and prep work that needs to be done um, before you repaint it or whatever the case may be there. Okay, so our whole point is to get this to look nice, neat, and uniform. Mm -hmm. So, may as well, let's just get at it. Let's do it. All right. So as you can see, we got these welds taken down that look really nice and uniform. So that carbide burr really took those down. It actually took them down really fast. Look at the finish. Oh yeah, man. Finish looks really good. So everything's working out on this, but we've got another issue. We've got to take this paint off of it. So our next product we're going to talk about is our NCD 200 HD. So this is a ceramic disc and tell us a little bit more about it. Yeah, so it's our new power wheel here at Clink Spore. Um, it's our newest item and it's a little bit different. So, so most of the power wheels in the industry are made with a silicon carbide grain with a little bit more emphasis on the finish look. This one's a little different. It's made with a ceramic grain. Um, so it's gonna be compressed on fibers, a resin, and then lastly, that ceramic grain. So what that ceramic is gonna do for you, um, it's just gonna make it much more heavy duty. So you're gonna get more service life out of it. It's gonna be a little bit more aggressive. Um, and any applications, it could include uh, removing paint, which we're gonna do here today, removing rust, mill scale, any kind of general cleaning and blending. Today, like I said, we're gonna move some paint and you're gonna to get to see just how efficient and effective this wheel is. Good deal, let's get at it. My big thing for this video is I want to show how really good the carbide burst did. So once we got all this paint removed, you can see that the carbide burst looked really good. So it's the reason why we did the carbide burst first, so if it had a scratch, and then obviously the NCD 200 HD came in and took out the uh, paint. So for me, the carbide burst did an excellent job, and it was relatively fast, so that really helped out. So I had two main takeaways. It was just uh, the time you saved with that ceramic, you can, you can see the aggression a little bit more mm -hmm. compared to just an industry standard. And also the finish it leaves. So it being a ceramic, you would think um, it would leave a heavier scratch. It's not the case. It's pretty much in line with um, some of the silicon carbide power wheels. So you can see it's a pretty good finish there. Okay. Um, so paint's gone, weld's gone. It's all polished up. Sounds good. All right, so that is, it for this video today. So our whole goal was to emphasize carbide burrs and emphasize our new NCD 200 HD, which is out now, and just kind of show what it does on something we get a lot of questions on. Different ideas for taking down welds and removing on a rail. So thank you so much and see you next time.